<laughs> okay, so I am Kimberly Durning. I'm the author of the Body Finder series, and this is the second book in the series, Desires of the Dead. Um, if you don't know about my books, I'm sure most of you don't. Um, uh, the Body Finder, it's pretty self-explanatory, the title. It's about a girl who can find dead bodies. Um, she's 16 years old, and she can find bodies um, by the sensory echoes, she calls them, that they leave behind. And it can be anything from like a taste, a color, a sound, something that attaches to the body when, um, when it's killed, but also that same color, taste, sound, whatever it is, also attaches to the killer in the form of an imprint. So when local girls start to go missing in her area, she realizes that she may be the only person that can find um, the person walking around wearing those matching imprints on him. Um, and also because I like a fair amount of kissing, there is a love interest in the story. Um, his name is Jay, and Jay actually was supposed to be a really small kind of side character in the story when I first started writing it, but what happened was that the more I wrote Jay, the more I liked Jay, and my crush became Violet's huge crush, so he kind of spilled out over onto the pages, and now it's kind of 50% kind of thrillery mystery and 50% romance and making out, so there you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suzanne Young, and I'm the author of A Need So Beautiful. Um, I also like making out in my books. Uh, so it is, uh, I like to think a love story, but uh, ultimately it's about a girl uh, who finds she has these compulsions to help people, and they're painful and she can't stop them, and she finds that the more she does them, the more that her own existence is slowly being erased. Um, but it is her destiny to uh, follow this route um, into the light until she meets a woman um, who gives her another option. Um, so that's what it's about. Um, and I also have uh, a love interest in the book uh, named Harlan, who I was telling Kat is a dreamboat. Oh, closer to my mouth. Yes. Oh, look, it works like this. I didn't know. These things are so tricky. Um, so did anyone hear what the book was about? <laughs> it's really good. You should just <laughs> I heard you no problem. <laughs> so um, well, anyway, she's a like a species of people uh, called the forgotten um, who are slowly being forgotten uh, unless she can figure out a way to stop it. And, uh, and that's it. And the sequel comes out next summer and it's called A Want So Wicked. And that comes out. Hello, I'm Kat Patrick, and I am the freshman at the table here. I have my one book out, as compared to everybody else, with a gazillion. <laughs> and it's Forgotten. It came out in June. Um, and it's about a girl who can remember the future instead of the past. And her name's London Lane, and it's just about her navigating high school and figuring out the mystery of her condition, why she's like that, and of course. I like to make it out too. <laughs> so there's Luke. Um, and uh, I'm not writing a sequel, but I have another book coming out next summer that I can't talk about yet. I wish I could. But I was told that we were going to talk about our inspirations for our book, so I'll just add that and you guys can do it if you want to. <laughs> um, my inspiration for writing this book uh, was when my twins were five months old and I was doing something in my kitchen and I just forgot what I was doing in the middle of the activity. And I started thinking about amnesia and how it would be terrible to have amnesia, and especially in high school, it would be terrible to have amnesia. Um, but then I thought, well, okay, fine, you forget everything, but what if you can remember everything to come to make up for that? So that's how Forgotten was born. Did you remember what you were making? <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa Schroeder, and um, The Day Before is my newest novel. Uh, I'm the author of I Heart You, You Haunt Me, Far From You, Chasing Brooklyn, and then I also have a middle grade uh, book out called It's Raining Cupcakes. And uh, so this one is came out in, uh, just a few weeks ago, and the short version is I call it the teen version of uh, Before Sunrise, if any of you have seen that movie. And if you haven't, that won't make any sense to you, so I'll give you the long version. <laughs> <laughs> the book takes place over a 24-hour period of time. And Amber is the main character, and she decides to go to the beach and spend um, the perfect day because her life is about to change and uh, really turn upside down. 
So she goes to the beach the day before <laughs> that big thing is going to happen. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because um, it's sort of fun to be surprised, although at some point we may put it on the paperback because it kind of is an it could be a good hook. It's so it's hard to know. Should we tell people? Should we not tell people? Will it make you more interested if I tell you? But it's sort of fun to find out for yourself. Um, but while she's there, she meets Cade, and she begins to realize he also is either running from something, running to something. She's not sure, and they decide to spend the day together, no questions asked. And so then you start to wonder what's going on with him. And is everything with him okay? Um, so, and I got the idea for this book um, from a song. And we're actually going to give away some CDs as prizes. And we all put some songs on there that have to do with our books or that inspired the books or that we wrote or that we wrote by when we were, you know, doing the books. So um, the song Glitter in the Air by Pink has this line in it that, if I can remember it, have you ever wanted an endless night, lassoed the moon and the stars, and pulled that rope tight. And I thought, what if two teens didn't want <clears throat> the night or the day to end? What would be happening that next day that would make them feel that way? And that's how um, I came up with, uh, that was sort of the seed of the, of the idea, so thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mandy Hubbard. Um, I also do books under Amanda Grace. Um, my first two books were Prada and Prejudice Than You Wish, which are sort of fun, silly books, laugh out loud sort of ones. Um, this one is my first darker one under Mandy Hubbard. Um, it is about a girl who is 18 years old and she is normal by day, but at night she's forced to um, spend her night swimming instead of sleeping and she sings a song that sort of lures in guys to drown them. <laughs> so it's not quite as funny. <laughs> um, but two years before the book starts, she accidentally killed um, the boy that she was in love with. So she's been sort of the ice princess at school ever since because she's trying to keep everyone safe. Um, but as you can tell, there is a boy involved um, <laughs> and much making out as well. But, um, and then I also do more realistic contemporary books under Amanda Grace. My first one um, is called But I Love Him, which is about an abusive relationship uh, told in reverse chronological order. So it starts at like a really bad spot and unwinds. Um, I got the idea for this one because I wanted to do a paranormal, but I didn't know what I wanted it to be about, and I wanted something that was very grounded in reality, so I decided it would have to be the main character, it was normal most of the time, but would have something crazy. So I literally just went on Wikipedia and was like following link after link after link after link until I came up with a siren, so the world and the story sort of evolved from there, but that's that. I love watching the cord go on. Yes. <laughs> uh, my name is Eileen Cook. I am the author of What Would Emma Do? Getting Revenge on Lauren Wood, uh, and the most recent, The Education of Haley Kendrick. Uh, in terms of the inspiration, I came across an interesting little fact, which is that more people are killed by falling bending machines than in shark attacks. Oh, wow. And that's actually true. So next time you're getting a Diet Coke, exercise some caution. Um, and that for some reason that fact stuck with me. I thought it was really interesting. And so I wanted to create a character that would know these kinds of things, who would be tremendously risk adverse. Um, and so I came up with a cat, Haley Kendrick, and she attends this very exclusive boarding school. Um, and I liked making out so much. I have three boys. She has a boyfriend. She has her boyfriend's best friend that she kisses. And then she has a boy from town that she sort of ends up getting messed up with. So when one isn't enough, you want to say no. And uh, I have a new book coming out in January, which is a change for me. Uh, it's called Unraveling Isabel. And it's about a woman or a young girl. Um, it's a bit of a gothic. She moves to this old creepy house. Um, and there may be a ghost in it, or she may be going crazy. 